Hello everyone! We are Drama Duo. In this video, we will be doing our final review on The King Eternal Monarch. And we will be giving you guys our ratings for this drama. Yes! First off, we are going to discuss about what we liked about this drama. Um, my favorite character or characters of this drama is Eunsop and uh, Jo Young, right? Same here. Like, they were my favorite. Mm -hmm. They were super entertaining and they were funny and I just love them, right? <laughs> I feel like yes. I think they were one of the best things about this drama. Yeah, and, that, um, that kept me going yeah. to watch it. <laughs> yeah, both of them were kind of like the comedic relief, like mm -hmm. during like serious times or whatever throughout the drama. Like, mm -hmm. they made the drama, you know, funny and enjoyable, you know? I thought Wu Do-won did such an amazing job acting as Eun-sop and Jo Young, you mm -hmm. know, because they're like opposite characters and he was able to act out both and it was, it was great. Mm -hmm. Also, I like the romance that um, Jo Jo Young and Eun-sop have with each other, plus I guess with Lee Gong too, like yeah. the romance they have. So. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's like, I don't know, it's kind of, let's say... I, I think know. it's better than the romance between the two leads. <laughs> yeah, true. Because I I enjoy more of that. I, yeah. I mean, it's kind of bad to say that, but it's true to to us. Yeah, and that also like brings something up for me that I also enjoy watching like the um Joe Young and Usopp's love story. I guess on the side oh, yeah. of with the other girls, and I don't know I enjoy that more too. I mean, that's bad, but. And like she's kind of funny too, Nutty. Yeah, Nutty and the, her doppelganger. I don't remember her name. Yeah, I don't remember her name too. Something with an M. <laughs> I don't know. I just remember Nutty. Yeah, but I'll, I want to see more of that. They'll show like some little parts, yeah, right? Yeah, but you wish we would yeah. have gotten more of their love story mm -hmm. because it was more interesting <laughs> yeah, than Kate I was, and Yeah, <laughs> I was more curious. I'm like, ooh, what's gonna happen to them? You know? Yeah. But yeah. Another thing that I like about this drama is, uh, I guess, the chemistry between Prince Young and Lady No to um, Li Gong. How like they show a lot of like care for him since he was an orphan mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So it's kind of I don't know. They were like his parents. Yeah. So I would say. I'm just like, oh, yeah. like that's one good thing about this drama. <laughs> yeah, I really like uh, Prince Young's character because, mm -hmm. like, I mean, like he could have gone against like Li Gong because you know. He's the next in line. To he's be the king. next in line. But then he was actually very like, um, what do you call it? Loyal. Generous and loyal. Yeah, he's very loyal. He like he just. I love his character. He's very um. I don't know what that word is. Like, I don't know. Benevol me too. Bene benevolent. I don't know. Or like just <laughs> very nice, very loving, mm -hmm. very yeah, very loyal to Li Gong. Yeah. And um, I thought it was unfair how Li Gong just doubted him. I know. I'm just like, you <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> We're going to talk about what we dislike about this drama. And first thing first, uh, what what both of us really strongly agree is <laughs> Li Gong and Taeul's chemistry. Yes. Like, that's one of the biggest things that we dislike about this drama. Yes. And we just feel that... They fall in love too fast, yes. and it's like really uninteresting, like for the most part, because I feel like, I mean, I do like cheesy kind of love stories, but like they're kind of cheesy and but boring. Yeah, I like, <laughs> I like did not like how like the moment they met, like Lee Gong was like already so in love and infatuated mm -hmm. with her, and then she was like, oh whatever, but then she like falls pretty quickly yeah. in love with him back, you know? Which is like what? Yeah, and I, I was just like, uh, I don't, like, what? Like, how? And what? Like, why? Because he's <laughs> handsome? What the hell is going on here? <laughs> like, I just, I, I hated that they fell in love so fast with each other. Mm -hmm. And that their love was so, like, intense. Mm -hmm. But I was just like, I don't know. I didn't buy it. I didn't buy their love story. I wasn't, yeah. yeah. And I mean, I mean, the chemistry... I feel like it took them so long just to almost get it, I guess, see that connection towards the yeah. end of the drama. And you're just like, wow, it took this long for you guys to finally kind of see some chemistry, you know? Mm -hmm. I feel like, to me. Yeah. But, I mean, like, they had, like, moments where, like, they were hugging and stuff like that. But I felt like it just, they didn't have chemistry. Like, it felt, it felt awkward. And I, I honestly think it's 
because of Lee Min Ho. I feel like he made those scenes between them very awkward. Yeah, I mean, we don't know what really be happened, you know, with them, but it's just on screen, you can kind of see it's awkward. I think he's just really awkward. <laughs> or, um, yeah, or he just doesn't kiss. I don't know, like, <laughs> I think he's just not really good at romantic scenes. I know we're going to get a lot of hate for it, but I think he's not good at it. <laughs> because, like... <clears throat> I don't know, like, whenever, like, through all this, seriously, this whole drama with them two when they're together and doing, like, romantic scenes and having, like, really romantic moments like that, <laughs> it felt kind of, like, forced, mostly on his part. Mm. And it was just super awkward. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, what one scene actually kind of got me is only when, you know, he was, I mean, Tae-woo was at, in his bedroom and oh. they were, like, gonna get on yeah get it on <laughs> and i'm like okay i you guys got me there but then once mm. he started talking it just kind of yeah i think i thought that was the best scene too yeah where they truly had like chemistry and it was like actually sexy <laughs> <laughs> but then the rest was just kind of like uh, okay whatever it's kind of awkward but mm. sure <laughs> yeah Another thing I want to complain about is about Taeul's uh, character or person. Um, sometimes I feel like she gets too emotional on scenes that I don't think she should be super like yeah. emotional about or overreact about certain things. Like, um, what is it? I forgot. What's that one scene that we always talk about? All the, that scene where he first came to give her uh, flowers. Oh, yeah. Like, why the hell were you, like, sobbing as if he died and he yeah. came back from the grave? Like, <laughs> he went. Like, he usually goes, you know? Yeah. Go home. And he came back. Yeah, so, like, because, you know, we didn't... At that at that point, we didn't know what was going on. And she's just crying. And you're her like... eyes out. You're like, like what the hell is going on? Like, did he really die? Like, why are you freaking crying? Like, yeah. Like, you're used to him going back to his world and coming back to see you. And I think... I think with that is, I think it's the, the issue is with editing, mm -hmm. like how they edit the videos. So like, it didn't make sense because like, if it was because that, oh, he's gone, been gone for so long and he finally came back to see her and that's why she's really emotional. They didn't do a good job editing that. They didn't ever let us know that he was gone for like a super long time and he mm -hmm. finally came back, right? Yeah. And then later they don't even show what, why they put that in there and yeah. you're like, so does that seem just off the yeah that seems the confusing. line now yeah. like the story now yeah I I don't know like yeah like but there were there was more than just that scene like, yeah. I feel like she would just like overly cry her eyes out <laughs> and I'm just like okay but he usually like goes you back should kind of like, get used to this like, like you should why? know <laughs> why are you crying your eyes out like you're not dead <laughs> like I mean I love her as actress but it's just like the way how they have her act on certain scenes is just too much. Yeah. I think it's I seriously think it's editing because it's kind of like it looks like they meant for the scene to be something else. Mm -hmm. That's why she's like over she has such intense and overly like emotions during certain scenes, but then they don't do a good job showing it or they edit it weirdly like that and it just looks weird to us. I don't know. That's what I think, but and maybe just bad acting too. <laughs> Another thing that I want to complain about this drama is the time traveling aspect of this, like, of what happened. So it just doesn't freaking make sense, right? <laughs> yeah, I get confused too. So, um, the second time when Lee Gong went, went into the past, like, he should have seen his like past self go save his younger self mm -hmm. if that makes sense yeah. right because like if he didn't if he never went to save his younger self then the whole plot would not have existed mm -hmm. right so you know because time is a freaking big loop since he like kept going back into the past you know and he had to have gone to the past to so his so his younger self can get the badge and you know everything can happen like what happened that specific moment has to happen mm -hmm. so the rest can occur you know yep. so he can come to a conclusion that he needs to go back to the past the second time to do the whole thing in mm -hmm. shebang thing right like so like 
I just felt like their like with time traveling theory and concept wasn't fully like well developed. Mm-hmm. I would say. Or if they, I don't know how how they want it. Yeah. It doesn't to us doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense. But okay. I mean, for everyone else, maybe they don't really care. But yeah, <laughs> I mean. I think they just try to cut corners and like, okay, yeah, we're just gonna like try to like go and like rewrite the whole story, but without adding all these things and just don't think so hard about it, <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah. But then like for me, like, cause I love sci-fi and I've watched tons of dramas or like series and shows about time traveling and shit like that. So I'm like, hey, wait, 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 this shit doesn't make sense <laughs> because he needs to see his past self, you know, mm-hmm. like. It's going to create a freaking time condendrum. Like, yep. come on! <sighs> time theory. Time traveling so theories. That was a disappointment. Yeah, I was disappointed in that because I'm like, okay, they didn't do a good job developing it. And, like, that theory just doesn't make sense to me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Not saying that I am a pro at time traveling theory, but <laughs> that's just... I mean, you like, watch enough. Do you watch enough to, like, think, like, hey, wait, what? Like, this doesn't make sense. <laughs> Based on other... You know, mm-hmm. things that we've seen in the past. Yeah. I mean, they can always, like, argue, like, oh, well, you know, every, every, every show, every drama has it's a different, different concept. Yeah. And really, but I'm like, no, no, not really. Not really. Majority of the time when you do it correctly, it's pretty similar, mm-hmm. right? But. <laughs> and, I mean, I also want to complain about Lee Gong, like, is so obsessed about going to the past, which is, mm-hmm. that really, um makes the drama i guess bad for me because it didn't really make sense why he needs to really go back in the past the second time when he failed the first time already to me Mm -hmm. because i feel like you know you if you already caught the bad guy just kill him whatever you want to do with him you know Mm -hmm. but you just want to keep going to the past so i totally agree that um i thought it was a really stupid choice of Lee Gong to like go back to the past a second time mm-hmm. it felt like he didn't freaking need to because yeah. he already caught Lee Lim mm-hmm. so just kill him which is a climax already you know yeah and okay <laughs> one thing I thought was really dumb was that okay you're gonna go to the past again and I felt like he had the opportunity to save his father you know oh yeah but he fucking didn't like why did not you what like I thought wouldn't you want to save your father from getting murdered? Because they definitely got there before yeah. his father was killed, right? Because they were, like, sitting at the gate and, ki- like, they freaking killed his cousin. And, like, they had the whole freaking time. Though, why didn't you go save your father? Right? Because supposedly he's still so focused on getting the Lam that that's not his point to go Priority? save Priority? Yeah, to save his dad at the moment. Okay, so cause, because I thought his... I thought the reason for him to go in the past was so everything that happened, like all the people that has been killed in the oh, present. So to save everyone? Yeah, to save everyone, right? But then he didn't go save his dad. <laughs> I was very disappointed in um, some characters in this drama. Um, I've already mentioned like our ladies and stuff already, but <laughs> now let's get to the other characters. So someone who uh, I was very, very disappointed in was Lee Lin's character. Yes. I had so much expectation for him. Mm-hmm. Like, he is the super villain of this drama, yes. right? And he is, like, supposed- badass, you know? Yeah, and, like, they built his character to be, like, badass, mysterious, evil. mischievous, evil as fuck, <laughs> and <laughs> how did the fuck... <laughs> I just hated how they ended his character. Yeah. Like, like, okay, like, I felt like in the beginning and throughout the drama, they made it as if he had this fucking grand yes. fucking master plan to take Li Gong down, right? Yes. But we never fucking got to see that. Yes. Like, what the fuck? What was his plan anyway? Like, I seriously, like, yeah, he was, like, switching people. Like, but what was the reason why he was, like, switching out? all these people between the two worlds, right? Mm-hmm. We never really got the explanation of why he was doing that. If Li Lin's grand master plan was to, like, bait Li Gong with um, Li Gong's mother's doppelganger and then trap him, if that was his grand, grand plan, we never even got to see that played out because they freaking killed off Li Gong's doppelganger's mother before... 
like it even happened like she took she poisoned herself and it was it was stupid like Li Lin was the ultimate evil of this freaking drama and it's just like he's been planning all these years but he never freaking even got close yeah, to he doing just anything failed just like that <laughs> i know and i thought it was so stupid like they should have they i thought lee gong and lee lim should have had a like a battle yeah like least. where someone almost died <laughs> yeah or like i mean i thought lee lim's character was supposed to be smarter like he was mm -hmm. building this fucking plan to trap him down and then lee gong would have been stuck and he would have been had to like try to figure out how to get out of the shit mm -hmm. that Lee Gong trapped him. Uh, sorry, the shit that Lee Lim trapped him with. But like, you know, we didn't get that. Like again, I thought it was really stupid because Lee Lim actually gets killed by himself. Yeah, the which first is round. Like, what the hell? Quitching. <laughs> I know. And then there was like a new Lee Lim who, who should have been more like evil and sinister because he was he killed himself. Yeah, but he was stupid too. But then like, <laughs> like. He doesn't. He doesn't accomplish anything too. Yeah. Another character that I was very, very disappointed with is Luna. So her character absolutely did not add anything to the freaking plot. No. <laughs> like she was a useless character. Yeah, I would say. I mean, you you see her beat up people and then she just runs away. That's it. Yeah. Most of the time, that's what she does. <laughs> so like I. I feel like there was no point of her character at all because, you know, like I said, she doesn't add anything to the plot. Because they first introduced her character as a total badass, right? Mm -hmm. And yeah, like she's super gangsta and she's like totally opposite from uh, Tae Ul, you know, because mm -hmm. she has lived a freaking rough, hard life, you know? Mm -hmm. And then, like, you know, she supposedly made a deal with Lee, Lee Lim, but um, she doesn't even go through with it. And even when she, like, put a little effort into trying to, like, steal the ha uh, Li, Li Gong's flute, she, like, freaking fails to and just kind of gives up on that. <laughs> I'm like, dude, her character was so useless, I'm just saying. I don't even know why they put her character in. Like, when I first saw her character, I thought, like, okay, shit, like, they're going to use her character to trick Li Gong and to, like, confuse him. And um, he's going to have to choose between Luna or freaking Tae Ul, right? Mm -hmm. And, like, see if he can pick the right girl. <laughs> but, like, apparently that he didn't knows. happen. Yeah, he knows. He's just way too fucking smart. And he's, <laughs> he, I guess, can fucking tell. And which takes out the fun in Luna's character then. Yeah. Like, like, what the fuck is Luna's point? Like, what's her point? Yeah, in if, if they story? made her able to deceive Li Gong, I think that would be like a really interesting Yeah, that would have right been more too. interesting. But like, they just made it easy like, oh, he can tell. That's it. He can yeah. tell. At the end, after they alter the past and everything, like she just ends up being kind of like a carbon copy of Tae Ul mm -hmm. in the sea world. And she doesn't have cancer anymore, you notice that? Yeah, she just <laughs> doesn't have cancer, yeah. And she becomes a police or a detective too in the sea world. Yeah, and that also make me question about how the scene when Luna kissed uh, Shinji. Yeah. Like, oh my god. What happened to that? Like they yeah. put that in there, and then they never brought anything up, like a backstory or whatever. To yeah, what they that never was. explain why the hell that scene even ever. Yeah, because I still question why did he? Why did she kiss him? Yeah. Like out of the blue, I see you. I kiss you. Okay, bye. Yeah. I mean, like she could have just like. Oh hey, and then gone away. Like why did she have to kiss him? Yeah, so to like distract him. Like what? I mean, I guess as a distraction, but that's I so feel like weird. they only put that scene in to kind of like maybe let us know that in the future they're gonna be together. No, I feel like they just uh, maybe, but I feel like they just put that scene in there just so to show that oh okay, Shinji got a little action with her. <laughs> you know, okay, so we don't have to feel so bad about him. Like he did it some action with her but I felt, uh, like there was no point to that scene too like it was mm -hmm. it was unreasonable why it happened yeah, just and like with Luna's character you know how she's super badass oh, and yeah. tough guy and shit like that why would she ever fucking kiss a stranger like that yeah I wouldn't think she would kiss him now we're going to show you guys what we rated this drama so again um, 
One as being like we hate this freaking drama really, really, really like a lot. And then ten is like this is the best freaking drama. So from one to ten, we're gonna show you guys. Again, this is just our opinions, yes. okay? So don't get mad or get so happy about it. <laughs> yes. Okay, ready? Yes. One, two, three. Woo! Wow. Wow. <laughs> I rated five because this drama just had so much issues, which we've already discussed about. And um, I honestly, like, I feel like if Lee Gong and Tate Lil's chemistry was better, I would have definitely given it a higher score. Even though the storyline kind of sucked and there was, like, a lot of plot holes, I would have given it a higher score. But because, because this is a fucking love story and because their chemistry sucked, I had to give it a five. <laughs> So it's like a freaking F? <laughs> yes. I guess so. I guess 5 out of 10 is 50%. So it's a failing grade for yeah. me, I guess. And as for me, I did 7. I mean, I was joking with Evelyn saying that I was going to do a 1. She's like, really? I'm like, fine, I do a 1.5. Yeah, I believed in you. I was just like, okay, I guess 5 is not that bad. <laughs> yeah, so I was just joking with her and I didn't think that she would go that low. But that's how she honestly feels, yeah, so I don't do. get too <laughs> angry with her. Um, I would say seven because, uh, I mean, like Evelyn said and how, what we discussed previously, there is a lot of missing plot holes and not good chemistry and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But with the seven, I feel like that's a good enough rating for me because I do enjoy like Joe Young and Insop in them watching them and um like prince buyang and them because i enjoy watching them and, and, and i want more of them i'm trying not to like dislike lee min ho because we're not really <laughs> we're not really fans of lee min ho and you know this is a popular drama so we thought maybe we'll give it a shot and give yeah. it a chance yeah and maybe he will sway our hearts you know, like everybody else. But, but he failed too. <laughs> yeah, he failed because, you know, with the the actress that we really like, we thought mm. that maybe she'll help him, you know. Be better. Be better. <laughs> so, yeah, this is it. We're done with this drama and I'm so Yay. happy. I am too. Like, <laughs> oh yeah, like I was going to say, like there's so much moments in this, like while watching this drama that I wanted to give up. Yeah, I, I was telling and too that I don't want to watch it no yeah, more. Yeah, it was like really hard for me to freaking finish this drama. Like I was just like, oh my god, I'm just so done with them. <laughs> yeah, it just it just the like, storyline wasn't really interesting to me. Uh, their love story was definitely a downer for me, <laughs> and I was just like, I, I can't, I can't do this. But you know, I think. Hey, we we actually we, we made it. it and we so. made it, and it was still a disappointment. <sighs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But that's all we have for you guys today. Mm -hmm. um, so please remember to like and subscribe. And ring the bell for notifications for our newest videos. Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye.